In this video, we are going to take a look at creating sheets in our drawing, or you can create them elsewhere, of the actual view frames that we have created. Now, I have 21 view frames, which means this command is going to create 21 drawing tabs in my current drawing. Do I want to create them in this drawing? Do I want to create them in other drawings? If you data shortcut stuff and have all your alignments and profiles in one drawing, I don't really see a problem with 21 drawing tabs. However, keep in mind that having that many drawing tabs can cause slowness issues as you're plotting and trying to reopen things and, and switching tabs and doing your work. So it can cause a little bit of slowness issues. So the, we, the last video, we ran the command create view frames. This next command, we're gonna run the command create sheets. So I'm gonna type in create sheets to show you that we can do it through the ribbon or the command line. I prefer creating or typing in the command line. It, I find it faster than using the ribbon, however, to each their own. So up pops the create sheets, view frame group and layouts. So we're gonna go through this dialog box. Civil 3D wants us to select our view frame group and we only have one of them. I can do all of them or I can do a selection. I don't need to do every single one if I don't want to. I could make brand new drawings and I could have say five layouts in a drawing, 10 layouts in a drawing, 20 layouts in a drawing. I could put all layouts in one new drawing or all layouts in the current drawing. I'm gonna leave them in the current drawing for this and I'm okay with that. And then Civil 3D asks you what you want to name the layouts. So I'm going to name them Plan Profile Dash, and I'll go Next Counter, starting at one. Oh, Plan Profile Dash Next Counter. And then if we have a block in the drawing, we can have it automatically choose the North Arrow block to align in each of the layouts, so it will automatically rotate the block for you. However, I cannot seem to get my North Arrow block to work with this command. So I'm just gonna select none. I'm gonna hit next. This is also gonna make a sheet set. So I'm gonna make a brand new sheet set. And this just helps printing and finding drawings and accessing them, makes them really easy to print. And where do you wanna save it? Usually you will save it in the project location, but I've just got this project saved to my desktop. I'm gonna hit next and review the references and review the settings here. So the profile view and band set can only be changed during a view frame creation. So you have to use what you've selected in the view frames. Five times vertical I've chosen and no bands. You could get other settings from an existing profile view. So that we have this profile here, we could get some settings from that. I can choose settings through the profile view wizard, the heights, the options, etc. I am going to just get, actually let's choose some settings and see what that gives us for options. So station range, automatic, profile view height, automatic, profile display options, data bands if we want. So we could change that. We're gonna leave these by default. And I want to draw them in rows. I don't wanna draw them straight up. So we're gonna try drawing them in rows. And we're gonna see if this gives us what we want. So I'm gonna hit finish. And then Civil 3D wants to know where we want to align these views. Do we want to align your plan and profile at the start, the plan and profile at the center, or the plan and profile at the end? So do we want to line it up at the start, center, and end of each drawing? Generally, we line them up at the start, but you can choose whatever options you want. I'm going to hit Create Sheets, and Civil 3D will save our drawing. And then it asks where we wanna put these sheets. I'm gonna place them off to the right here and give Civil 3D a minute or two to complete this. Okay, it looks like the command is done. As you see down below, we have a large number of plan profiles now in the drawing. We have a sheet set that is opened up in another sheet set manager in another dockable window like the properties window. We'll just dock that over here for now. And we have a large number of profiles that have appeared off to the right. So if we look at the first one, and let's decrease the scale again, just so we can see things. 
we have from zero to 350, and then we have 350 to 700, and then we got 700 to 1050. So Civil 3D has taken this large profile and broken it up into 21 smaller profiles. And arguably the last one we don't even need. However, we'll take a look at that, what it's created. Now, as we can see, in this profile, we have designed an existing ground. However, this profile, the existing goes so deep that it's tried to automatically set up the top and we've cut off the design top. So we'll look at how to change those in the next video. However, let's take a look at some of these plan profile pages. So if I select the first plan profile, Civil 3D has given me a plan view up top and a profile view in the bottom with none of this being centered, but that is fixable. Our second drawing is over here a ways. We can drag and hopefully move them around, plan profile two, three, to reorganize these. So take a look at two, Civil 3D has created this. So at the top, we see our plan view at the bottom, our profile. You also notice on the left and right here that there is some, um, I'm gonna say hatching that does not print. This is all part of the, all part of the, um, the match line here and it hides stuff to the left and to the right. Al alternatively, I do, um, if we go match line style, we should be able to get rid of that match line mask and show the surface outside of those. I think it just makes the drawing look a little bit cleaner instead of just abruptly cutting it off. So we have our match lines. We built them off an alignment and a profile and we've displayed those in a 21 drawings that we can go and now print. Now, when it comes to printing these, we don't wanna to have to go right click, uh, select the first one, right click plot, wait for this window to load, set up all our options, hit okay, go to the next tab, go to the next tab, go to the next tab. We could select all these drawing tabs, right click publish. As long as they're all set up correctly and you had the plot styles all set up, we could send them to a PDF really quickly and it's gonna save it in my documents. And if I hit publish, make sure everything's set up. I'm just gonna save it on my documents and I'll hit save. And I'll give this a minute or two to finish and then I'll be back. All right, the, profile, the plan profile creation has finished and as you can see, it doesn't look very good because I didn't have any of my CTP files mapped or options set up. However, we see on every single drawing, we have the match lines, our surface moves along, the profile will adjust itself a little bit. So that is just quickly publishing some plan profile drawings. Alternatively, I believe you can do it through your view frame group as well, right click publish. You can go to PDF, Plotter, DWF, manage your page setup, a whole bunch of options, or you can right click publish just probably one sheet. You can need transmit, so quite a few options uh, just for publishing and accessing drawings. And if we double click on one of these, it's gonna open the drawing tab as well. So we don't necessarily have to look through all these tabs in the ribbon.